A few weeks back in App Judgment episode 25, I took a look at a couple of the most sought after productivity apps for the iPhone. This is part two, where we'll see the two most requested getting things done apps, Things and OmniFocus. App Judgment is brought to you by Squarespace. Getting things done is one of the most popular productivity methodologies created by a guy named David Allen. If you're like me, you have a zillion ideas in your head, a bunch of things that you'd like to prioritize to get done, and you'd like to have it all organized in a way to manage all of it. Well, that's what getting things done is designed to help you do. Let's start with Things, which was by far the most requested and recommended to be covered as a productivity app. The iPhone app is $9.99 and can function well independent of its $49 desktop partner, but functions better overall with it. Things is a rock star of an app when focused specifically on task management. Tasks can be entered on the fly to your inbox and then sorted into categories like today, next, scheduled, someday, and projects. At any time, you can sort tasks in order of type or due date and make modifications. To-dos show up in the next list and then anything scheduled for today will show up in the list for today. You can star any item on any list to appear on the list for today in order to create your own agenda on the fly. You can also look at items on the scheduled list and easily modify their due date as well as a start date. My favorite feature is that there's a project list where you can divide more complex goals into smaller individual steps as to-dos with their own deadlines. You can also assign projects and tasks as inactive for later review. Next up, I've saved what I think is the most significant of all the productivity apps for the iPhone for last, and it's OmniFocus, and it is the real deal. And it's also the most expensive app at $20. OmniFocus follows the getting things done methodology to the T. That means organizing tasks and projects with a set of rules based on this thick book but OmniFocus has also summarized it all in a 20-page tutorial. Just like in Things, the top of the home screen of OmniFocus features an inbox. This is where literally everything can start. Let's say that on whim, you decide you'd like to learn to play the guitar. Well, here's how it would work in OmniFocus. You start by immediately putting it into your inbox alongside other new items, like I've got this one for calling my friend Dan. Learning to play the guitar is far from a one-step process, so when you have more time, you'll take it from the inbox and turn it into a project. Projects are the ultimate goal and you'll create actions required to achieve that goal. Within a project, you can decide whether its actions must be done sequentially or in any order, aka parallel. I've created several actions under this project and I can assign a context to each of them. A context means what is required to accomplish the action. Researching guitars I can do on my computer, but buying the guitar I'll actually have to go out as an errand. This way you can accomplish unrelated actions for different projects depending on their relevance. So if I'm calling the guitar shop, I can also take care of calling my friend Dan, which is under the same context. There are many levels of depth any project or action can have, including due dates, a repeat schedule, like guitar practice, or if something is on hold and even GIS location based. There are a number of additional variables like amount of time required and delegating tasks that only seem to be available by using the OmniFocus desktop app. So this takes us to our pros and cons, but before that, we'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors and our Hot App of the Day. Hey everyone, Eileen here, and today's Hot App of the Day is for the music aficionado out there. It's called Wolfgang's Vault. Download this app and you'll have access to a huge archive of live and rare music dating back as early as 1959 to music of today. Here's a sample. You can favorite tracks and even email links to your friends when you find something you like. They'll get directed to the Wolfgang Vault website. And there are thousands of live tracks and concerts all available for free. Yep, Wolfgang's Vault is free in the App Store. App Judgment is brought to you by Squarespace. App Judgment viewers will be most interested in the new Squarespace app. Set up a Squarespace account and download the free iPhone app and you can blog on the go. The app really matches the look and feel of the Squarespace interface, so no awkward mobile blogging. You can get stats, manage multiple accounts, and enjoy live site preview. 
Now I'm still building my blog, but I already know this app is gonna come in handy while I'm traveling at conferences, when I have the spur of the moment idea to blog, since I always have my phone with me. Go to Squarespace today and sign up using the code APPJUDGMENT to get 10% off the life of your order. Now back to Prager and his judgment on things and OmniFocus. So let's start with the pros and cons of things. The pros for things is it's got an excellent ability to create tasks quickly and organize them on the fly. It has great prioritization of tasks and subcategories within projects, and it's easy to sort categories of tasks with tags. The cons are the desktop app only syncs via local Wi-Fi and is not accessible via the cloud. $10 for the app is a bit pricey if you combine it with the $49 desktop app to get the full functionality, and if you want the getting things done doctrine followed to the T, well, things is not your app. In the end, based on my personal interest in organizing large numbers of individual tasks complete with timelines and schedules, Things is a solid, efficient app and worth the download. The pros, OmniFocus is based fully on the battle-tested getting things done methodology. Organizing tasks by context is very handy, and the project management and subtask capabilities are great. And now for the cons. OmniFocus is a very pricey $20 for the iPhone app and a whopping $80 for the desktop app. It feels like there are almost too many subcategories and statuses to cross-label tasks and projects. And finally, I found it next to impossible to go back and undo or see completed tasks. Overall, OmniFocus and getting things done can feel like it requires quite a learning curve because you introduce yourself to so many levels of depth. That said, you can start as simple as you want and take advantage of the full feature set of OmniFocus as you ramp up your use of it. It's a hefty price tag, but if you're really serious about using a capable tool to manage everything you do from aspirations to simple tasks, I think you'll find it well worth the money and a solid decision to download. I'm David Prager, and if there's anything you want us to review on the show, send us an email at appjudgment at revision3.com. And don't forget to join the App Judgment Facebook fan page over at facebook.com slash appjudgment. All right, we'll see you next time.